Studying computer science was the best thing I ever did. It changed my life in ways I couldn't have even imagined. And the person I am today is largely a factor of my computer science education and mindset. Now, this video is not why I became a software engineer. That's for another time. Computer science is just an area of knowledge. You can use it to do whatever you want, to become whatever you want. Let's get into it. Reason number one, it's hard. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. This was filmed at my alma mater, Rice, and it still gives me goosebumps. In life, you should always do the things that are hard because they make you smarter. And computer science is hard. At its core, it's problem solving and algorithms and theory. It's discrete math and proofs and data structures and probability. And these concepts hurt your brain, which is a good thing because it means you're stretching the bounds of what you were previously able to do. It's like training for a marathon. Before you start, you can barely run one mile, but once you finish the marathon, 10 miles sounds easy. I thought I was a good problem solver until I started studying computer science and realized I wasn't even 10% as good as I could be. Freshman year, I was going to TA sessions to get through problem sets, while senior year, I was sitting at home, thanks to COVID, and finishing problem sets by myself. The growth was exponential. And computer science isn't the only hard thing you can study. Some might argue pure maths and physics and even philosophy are harder. But do the hard things, they make you better. Reason number two, you're surrounded by smart people. It's no coincidence that smart people naturally gravitate to the hard things. Maybe it's because it makes them smarter or just that the problems are mentally stimulating. Not sure, but some of the smartest people I know are computer scientists. And the best way to get smarter is by being the dumbest person in the room. And my peers were exceptionally intelligent people. But more than that, they were intellectually curious. We are a community of curious thinkers, passionate dreamers, and energetic doers who believe that improving the world demands more than bold thought and brave action. It takes unconventional wisdom. They didn't go to lecture to memorize what was on the board. They went to challenge the professor to ask why, why not? And they were lifelong learners. They were learning on their own time, reading blogs, implementing algorithms, creating personal projects, and doing research. They pushed me to continue learning and growing in all areas of my life. Reason number three, you can build with it. There are few fields where you can learn something in the classroom and then immediately go apply it. Sure, you can learn about differential equations and then see water coming out of a hose and say, oh, that's rate of flow right there. But it's still theory. You can't do much more than admire the water coming out at a high speed and then maybe modeling it as a differential equation. With chemistry, on the other hand, you can learn about a reaction and then go mix those chemicals by yourself and see it in real life. Well, computer science is like the best of both worlds. You can learn the theory and understand why things are the way they are, but then all you need is a laptop to go apply that knowledge by yourself. You just learned Dijkstra's algorithm? Great, pick a programming language and you can go implement it. And it gets even cooler with concentrations like machine learning. You learn how a neural networks, and then hours later you can leverage an AWS or Azure function to do it for you. And even cooler, you can use the output to predict something in real life, like what a user might want to buy based on their previous purchases. And there's no better place to build all sorts of cool projects than at a hackathon. Reason number four, it forces you to think differently. I covered this in my How I'd Learn Coding video, but computer science forces you to adopt a coding mindset. I learned about parallelization and threads and processes, and I was instantly thinking how I could make my own personal life more efficient. Like if I need to run the laundry and go to the grocery store and drop off some mail, I start thinking, well, laundry takes about 45 minutes and I can't dry the clothes until they're washed. And I know my grocery store and mail errands are gonna take about 45 minutes. So I'll run the cycle now, I'll go to the grocery store, drop off the mail, come back, move the clothes from the laundry to the dryer, and then I can cook food until the clothes are finished drying. I don't know how to explain this to you, but I didn't think like this before. And people around me still don't think like this. Reason number five, you will fail. And I don't mean getting an F in a class, though I did fail some exams. I mean more like it'll be a reality check. I don't know about you, but I was coming from high school feeling on top of the world. I already had some coding experience, so I thought it would be a breeze. Boy, was I wrong. Some of the concepts will go over your head and you'll have trouble finishing programming assignments and you'll wanna give up. You'll think time and again, is this really for me? Maybe I should do something else. But every time you stick with it, you go back and try again, that'll build drive and humility two characteristics that will take you far in life. The sooner life hits you like a truck, the better. You'll have thicker skin and be better equipped to face whatever comes your way. Reason number six, you'll learn how to problem solve. To be successful in any endeavor in life, you'll have to learn how to problem solve. And you'll learn this skill no matter what you study, but you'll learn it in different ways. Computer science is one of the few fields where memorization won't get you very far. 
you'll really have to understand the material. And when I say computer science, you're probably thinking programming, but you'd be surprised by how many non-coding classes there are. There's a lot of theory, everything from functional programming to compilers. You'll learn the theory in classrooms and then apply the knowledge in practical assignments. And that's two different styles of problem solving. Problem solving to make sure the math checks out and problem solving to make sure the code runs. By spending hours doing the problem sets, programming assignments and exams, you'll get better at problem solving, a skill that will help you across all areas of life, no matter what you end up doing. Reason number seven, you can use the knowledge to do anything. Even though computer science is different than software engineering, it can lead to that career if you want. It did for me, as you know, and I'm so grateful I became a software engineer for so many reasons that I can cover in a separate video. But computer science also gives me the knowledge and tools to do whatever else I want in the world. I can create my own website, I can start a software company, or I can just talk to other people, technically. Because I have a solid foundation in math and other computer science fundamentals, when I read a research paper or go to a conference, there's a lot of stuff I don't know, but there's also a lot that I do. And that is really powerful. Reason number eight, there's a lot of ways to do the same thing. Shout out to all the professors and TAs who graded our exams because they weren't multiple choice, they were free response. Because there are so many ways to solve the same computer science question. There are so many algorithms at your disposals and data structures you can use and you have to mix and match to get the right answer. And if that's not creativity, then I don't know what is. I love when there's not just one right answer. It's why math is so cool. You can approach the same problem in multiple ways. But don't get me wrong, each approach has its limitations. Some are less efficient, some take more space. But the fact that there's so many different methods and implementations, that's really cool. Because that's how the real world works. There are no right answers. There are just pros and cons. And you have to decide on a way forward that best fits the constraints. Reason number nine, it allows you to do things that are zero to one. This kind of connects to a previous reason where computer science allows you to build things. Well, the things you build have the potential to create huge impact. I mean, think about the most valuable companies in the world, from health tech, insurance tech, to fintech. They all have the word tech. And sure, you can always partner with technical people, but you have so much more leverage if you yourself are a technical person. I always told myself, oh, I'll just take care of the business side. I'm good with people. I'm a good speaker. I'll just do that. But this was a resigned attitude because I didn't think I had it in me to learn the technical things. But por que no los dos? Why not have multiple superpowers? And just like I said in my I'm not the best programmer video, there are definitely computer scientists, programmers, and software engineers out there who are better than me. But being kind of good at technology is better than not knowing it at all. Reason number 10, you can break into technical fields. Now everyone knows in many ways what you learn in college doesn't matter in your future career. Almost nothing you learn is actually applied. It's all like peripheral knowledge. But it's hard to break into a technical field without technical knowledge. Like you can study whatever and become a consultant or an investment banker or even go to law school or med school, but you can't study English and become a software engineer. Or you can, but it'll be way harder. You'll definitely have to do additional work either by yourself or back in school or through a boot camp. But if you study computer science, your path is so much better defined. You can go into a technical field, no problem, either as a software engineer or as another role, like a product manager, developer advocate, or support engineer. In fact, some of the best product managers I know used to be software engineers or studied computer science or another relevant technical field in college. Like all things in life, compounding is the greatest force on this planet. And computer science knowledge really does compound and open doors you didn't even know existed. You're able to do things you never thought were possible. So if you have the option and the motivation, I'd highly encourage you to take some classes or pick up a textbook and start reading. That's all I have. Till next time, cheers.